right. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Tonight it's my biggest race of the year so far, the Otley GP. So yeah, I'm doing the 234 race, which is the support race uh, for the two elite races later on in the evening. So the Otley GP is uh, a race that's been going for nearly 40 years. Um, the elite race has been won by the likes of Tom Pidcock in the past, Mark, Mark Cavendish, uh, Lizzie Dignan as well, local rider. She's also won the women's race. Quite prestigious and uh, yeah, I did it last year. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a hell of an experience and I can't wait to uh, be back there tonight. As I'm not racing until like 20 to seven tonight, um, I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of just go out for like a half an hour, 45 minute spin, uh, test out the bike, test out my legs and uh, yeah, just kind of get myself all there loose and all of that kind of stuff, uh, ready, ready for racing tonight. Yeah, as I said, I'm only doing about 30 minutes or maybe 45 minutes max. Yeah, so the aim is to kind of spin the legs out, go quite steady. Um, and yeah, I'm going to throw in maybe four or five kind of uh, maybe 10 to 15 second sprints. Um, like I said, just trying to wake the legs up. And um, yeah, I'm going to do these like kind of slightly on a slight downhills and stuff because then it kind of like makes you feel makes you feel a little bit faster. Makes you feel like you're going well, and also you don't really want that resistance doing it on the uh, on the hills and stuff, doing those sprints. The aim is not to go like go max effort. It's just uh, it's just about getting the blood pumping and getting moving and stuff. So it's uh, now the afternoon and um, it's about three hours until the race, and so uh, yeah, it's about time I get some uh, some food in. Um, so yeah, I'm going for like a high carb kind of meal. I've got some rice. I've got a wrap. Uh, it's a bit of chicken and some veg as well so um yeah hopefully that should uh, power me through i think i've found that like about eating about three hours before the race really helps uh, it means i can kind of digest the food and it means i've got all of that kind of energy there ready to go <laughs> Uh, right, okay. So I'll one of those. If you can just return to Transponder in the Velcro. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Dave, wait a sec! Whoa! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! You were going to go in five, four, what a minute, three! Our runners heading off in a two of the
What an experience. Yeah, so I couldn't really uh, gather my words and my thoughts together last night after the race. So uh, yeah, saved it till uh, this morning. Um, so yeah, it's so the next morning and I'm out walking the dog. Um, my legs feel extremely sore, considering it was only like a 40 minute race. Like last night, around about like midnight, um, <laughs> I was just like getting up to go to bed and I got almighty cramp um, in my uh, thigh. I, like I was screaming out, extremely, extremely tough race. You had a normalized power of uh, 370 watts or just shy of 370 watts. So yeah, and I don't really think that tells the full picture because I think that first 15 minutes, whew, blimmin' heck, that was fast. Yeah, I had to do a lot of work to kind of chase to get back in that bit, that front group. But yeah, I managed to do it. I managed to do it. I stuck it. Um, so yeah, my goal from yesterday was just to, um, yeah, I wanted to not get lapped because after getting lapped last year and it wasn't not being able to finish the race and stuff having to pull off, um, yeah, I didn't like that experience. So this year, my aim was just to kind of make sure I don't get lapped and I achieved that, which more than more than happy with. And I remember seeing um, the lap board go up like four, with like four laps to go and I was like, I'm here. I'm gonna make it, I'm not gonna get lapped, I'm not even gonna get dropped, like, so yeah, that was a really good experience. But yeah, there was about 50, just over 50 guys in that front group, um, so about half of the race still left there. But yeah, like going into, I think I was like two laps to go. Yeah, I tried to move up and like, get, I said to like, I was gonna say to you, oh, do you want me to give me a hand, give you a lead out? Um, I think I was like already that, by that point, it was two guys off the front. And like, as I moved up on that second, like two laps to go, I got swamped um, and um, kind of the bunch kind of like, yeah, just got swamped and I moved to kind of 
kind of end up drifting back again and then on the last lap again i tried to move up um but i found this kind of quicker line um coming out of the chicane and going up the outside um of the bunch um but just as i kind of crested that first bit of the climb um the bunch kind of moved towards the right a little bit and i just thought do you know what i've i've done i've like i've done the bit that i wanted to do i'm just going to now just like sit up and like kind of enjoy and enjoy it and like enjoy the experience and just kind of like roll around to the finish um kind of soaking up the crowds and stuff and just yeah i didn't really fancy getting involved in the kind of the, the melee of the bunch because it's like by that point i probably would have been like sprinting for like or fighting for our 25th wheel and stuff and yeah 25th would have been a great like a great result in a race like that but do you know what i think there's big i got bigger kind of goals on the on the horizon and yeah i didn't really risk crashing again this year <laughs> having already crashed um it fractured my hip about three months ago but yeah definitely don't want to be doing that again so in the coming days i'm going to also do a race report so that'll be a video just kind of with the power overlays um and i'll kind of talk through how i was feeling at kind of each point in the race and stuff um and yeah it'll be a little bit more um of the onboard footage so yeah i just want to also say a shout out to everyone that was supporting me around the course um, I could hear all your shouts from like all over and that's that was yeah it's just really like kind of encouraging and stuff just hearing people like yeah yeah supporting you and stuff and it's like yeah it's just it's just great so uh if you are one of those people uh let me know in the comments and um yeah it'd be good to hear from you and uh yeah hopefully see you at, an, at a race sometime soon thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe because it's really important it really helps the channel really helps me out um and i'll see you in the next one Oh, all right.